this part I'm going to show you how to uh, use the controller uh, with the little training uh, for the quadcopters. Um, I have bind it with the radio as you can see uh, the, the blue light is flashing two times. Uh, that, that's already binded with the radio. I'm going to show you the uh, how to operate on the controller. Now um, your, your joystick on the left side allow you to uh, basically when you move this up I'm holding this so you can able to see it. Uh, I'm like, uh, make sure when you're holding it again, uh, it's, it's going away from your body, okay? So when I raise up the radio on the joystick, this will begin to uh, power the uh, motors. At the same time, on your left joystick, if you move it to the left, it will rotate. So if you move it to the left on the joystick on this one here, it will rotate to the left. If you rotate to the right, it'll rotate to the right if you move it to the right on, on your left joystick. Now, when you're in the lowest position, no matter what you do, it doesn't move. You have to be uh, above to the point that it is, the motor has to start in order for it to able to move, uh, rotate um, left and right. On your right joystick, it's your forward. So if you go forward, it go forward, if you go backward, it go backwards. And then if you go to the left, it will pitch to the left. And if you go to the right, it will pitch to the right. It's not turning, it's pitching to the right. It, it actually uh, do you a little pitching. So that's the mechanic of your joystick, uh, the two sides of the joystick. Now, you have four buttons along the, next to the joystick. Those are your minor trimming buttons. You don't, you don't have to do anything to the, uh, here on this uh, trimming. It's supposed to trim the left up and down. But if you look at the four points of the LCD, three of the points are in the middle of the LCD of the uh, barcode. That means they're all in the center of the trim. And then you have one point is on the bottom of the, of the barcode. And that's your throttle. That's always at the bottom. You, you don't have to move anything to this button, uh, the trimming button. So leave it at the bottom at all times. So if you found the uh, quadcopter, when you raise it up and it, it, it go on, go, go, keep on going backwards, that means you have to move your up and uh, your forward backward uh, trim, which is this one here, to go forward a little bit. So that's allow you to counter the force when you are feeling the uh, quadcopter going backwards. And if you feel like your quadcopter is going, uh, when you raise it up and it's always going to the right side, that means you have to do your trimming on your left and right pitch. So if it's going to the right side, you want to trim it to the left on the pitch side. So you counter the force. Um, always use your joystick. Um, don't have to go real hard on the joystick. I'm going to fly a little bit here, you can see how the, uh, the movement on my hands. So you always use two hands to, to control the, um, the functions of your quadcopters. Don't always think that the quadcopter will bring it up itself while you're shooting the uh, throttle up by itself. You always use your hand to counter any uh, moment, movement of the uh, quadcopters. So let's go. This is your up and down. So go up about maybe 20% of your joystick. You can see how slight movement on my hands are. Then, then that, that will start the motors. Once the motor started, then you can go a little higher for it to lift off the ground. Now, my right hand is also in counter of any movement that uh, the quadcopter responds. So I'm raising up almost 30% of the joystick already. So it's not living up uh, to the ground, off the ground yet. So I'm going more than 30%, almost close to 50% now. You can see the cracker begin to lift off the ground slowly. So once you lift off the ground on, the, on, your, on your throttles, I'm not moving it up anymore. So I'm playing with my right hand a lot now, um, more or less I'm, fun I'm controlling my, with my right hand, so you can see. 
So once you get up to the ground, just a little bit off the ground, then now you are just uh, trying to work your way through and learning your way through your side click control, which is your right uh, joystick control, is your side clicks. If you notice the uh, quadcopter begin to sh shift the heads a little bit to the, it's turning to the right side. So all I do is I, I, I'll do a little touches to rotate my quadcopter back to me. Um, one thing I forgot to tell, uh, mention is that orientation is very important. You want the front always away from you, uh, and then the back side of the quadcopter always toward you. So at all times when you're doing the learning, you're always learning up and down, forward, backward, and then pitch left and pitch right. That will be the easiest way to do the learning. Uh, if for some reason the quadcopter turns itself away from you, and you are trying to control it, um, please stop all the sequence. Don't continue to fly anymore. Go there and pick up your quadcopters and bring it back so the rear end is always facing you. Your learning process, you want to go through at least five to ten times of the battery life learning through this kind of process. Be patient and you should be able to get this up and fly real soon. Um, again, rear facing you, forward is the front with the yellow stickers away from you. And make sure you have a bigger space than what I have here. Uh, that's not a good choice of learning. You want it something bigger, but prefer to have a smooth surface. You want it to start the quadcopters on a smooth surface so you can able to slide around, especially during the uh, learning curve and doing the, uh, they call that as a, uh, what do they call that? There's a term, <laughs> I forgot. Ground effects, yes. So make sure that the ground effects stages, you want it to be smooth surface. Do not fly and try to fly crack up here on carpets and grass, because if you do have carpet or grass, well, the first thing you'll notice is that it's got a tip over on the side. Because the grass are too tall, and the carpet also tall enough to sink the landing ski on it, and it'll, it'll tip them on the side every single time, and you can break the blade. So be careful when you do the learning. Cement, um, anything with hard surface, wood, uh, basketball court, wherever you can find to do the uh, learning. Now, one last thing. Before you shut off, you want to unplug first and then turn off the radio. Do not do the other way around. That will be very dangerous. That will conclude the training lessons for the flying of the quadcopters.